Okay guys, uh, what I wanted to show you is that uh, uh, the inverted signal of the power on signal of the links uh, still works. Uh, actually, it does work now. <laughs> um, I'm hacking these links to, uh, I've like hacked it, I've removed everything uh, of the power uh, section and I inserted uh, 5 volts, straight 5 volts directly into the PCB. Um, I will add a power boost 1000 from Adafruit later, but that's that's another story. What I wanted to demonstrate is that um, uh, because there is no power coming from the batteries now, um, the links will think it's running on batteries, and so it should switch uh, this signal um, after about four minutes uh, if you leave it untouched, and that is to save the batteries. And well. Um, even though I'm going to install LiPo battery in this this one, um, I th I thought it was still a good idea to have that. If you if you put the links away for four minutes and um, you don't touch it, you're obviously not playing. So why not why not use it? Um, so this is just a demo that uh, that it works. Um, I'm powering up the the links now. Starting up. I'll start. Uh, start a stopwatch. A little bit late. <laughs> it was at least 20 seconds late, but whatever. And as you can see, the output signal. Uh, I have inverted it using the. Uh, the old U6, the 4096 uh, hex buffer, if, uh, if I'm right. Um, it really doesn't have any function anymore. It's here on the PCB. Um, this is mainly used to, um, to let the power on and power off buttons work, but I'm going to uh, connect that to a different PCB. Um, but I'm now still using one one of those buffers to invert the signal because uh, the PCB I will be, con be connecting it to, or the chip I will be connecting it to, uh, needed that signal reversed. So it has to be a high uh, when it has to keep uh, powered on, and it has to go low to tur to turn uh, to turn it off. So. <laughs> As long as we don't do anything on the signal, still high, obviously. Um, I think about yeah. You know, I what I also I also have a, a frequency mod hack on this this little PCB here, and I'm running it at the max now, which is about 22 megahertz. <laughs> in the hope to insp uh, increase uh, to speed things up a little bit. Well, all we can do is uh, wait now. Yep, still running. And I'm not sure how the Lynx is timing those four minutes. I have no idea. If it's dependent on the on the clock frequency, it should be a bit earlier now when it switches off. At least I think so. I'm not sure really.
Yes, and there it goes. So it's almost spot on four minutes, although I started the, uh, the stopwatch a little bit late. But I guess there was some boot time as well, of course. So it's about four minutes. Uh, you can see the signal is low now and it's still connected. And of course, when I power down the system, it will keep low. So normally um, the links would, would turn off now. Um, but of course, because I have the power uh, section uh, cut away, um, it's that it doesn't have a way to control it. The signal is just here, and I will be putting that signal to the to the extra chip that I will use, uh, which can control the power boost uh, 1000. Um, so yeah, well that that's that's good to see that it's uh, working as I had planned. Thanks.